four of them here. Not, hey, don't be, be I'm not. I'm, I'm building it up. Okay. I think cussing is cool. So it became <laughs> it became a bit of an issue because the media room. That's where the media hangs out. Where those guys in white are. The media room where you guys came in. That's where they were hanging out. Coach was cussing so much that word was getting out to the media and it was leaking. We weren't so block centric then, but still word was getting out and there was a lot of cussing. So coach moved. So he could still cuss as much because it turns out he likes to cuss, <laughs> but now the media couldn't hear it. So it worked out. So that's the first lesson of the tour. Um, on, a, on a typical practice day, guys have to be here by 10 o'clock and ready to go. Practice starts at 11 and you get in some warm ups and workouts uh, just, just to get ready to practice. Practice starts two hours from 11 to 1. And then at 1 o'clock, they break down into little groups. Uh, guys who are in similar positions who get similar shots down. And they put up 30 shots in each position in the, uh, in the in the game plan that they would expect. So uh, a guy like Martel, a guy like Nick, who shoot a lot of threes, we're shooting like probably 200 three-point shots every night. We get a lot of shots in. And then, if you guys can see, Yeah, record me. the red signs and then uh, the, black, the black ones are the extra. So uh, just start them up and you see guys who aren't necessarily too far uh, too far along. Although Patty knows them uh, Rudy are doing pretty well. Uh, and the guys on the guys in black obviously you all know and the guys in red you may know some of them. Uh, those are the those are the rest of the uh, practice facility staff. So they're required to do the extra workout, the same uh, number of workouts as uh, as the players are. Well, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, and for every number at the end of the month, so on March thirty first, if anybody is not in black, they get fined for each they get fined five thousand dollars for each workout they miss. Oh wow. And it's and Theo Ratliff was the last player to miss a workout. And so these guys like their dough. Uh, that's for sure. They keep track of they keep track of the standings. That's uh, current as of last night. The fellows practice today before going to Denver. Uh, we try to do this from noon to two, but they had to practice until one, so uh, that's why we're here. Uh, but so they have they have uh, this is sort of state of the art kind of workout machine. Now Greg was out here the other day. Uh, he was he was he was using this this machine over here. Uh, it's kind of a zero gravity. Zero gravity walker. So he gets inside that. And, uh, I've never seen him use a bag of that over uh, without him to do it. And it's, a, it's zero gravity, so he can put, uh, he can put his legs through a full walk motion uh, and get his knee bending uh, appropriately without putting any weight on it. Puts up. Uh, he goes around his waist, zips into it, and it goes over there. Huh. Oh, no, that's cool. Huh. It's kind of creepy. So a lot of these things. <laughs> A lot of these things are brand new. Uh, last year there was uh, there were more bikes in the bike center, and they had a couple of uh, very fancy uh, road bikes out here that the guys could train on. That Greg, Greg and Joel were using uh, to train on. And, uh, that machine over there is like Dale. This is a zero gravity uh, walker. Pilates machine. And there's food. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen this. I can that's, see why. Yeah. The balance thing. Yeah. All, it's all for balance. Yeah. yeah. So, you see that? So, the, the, but again, we were out here a lot last summer. A lot of 